morning guys so I just woke up a little while ago and it's already like 11 almost 12 o'clock <laughs> so I slept in a little bit today it happens I thought I was supposed to start work I haven't gotten any contact from my uh, boss yet so I'm not really sure what the status is on that um, I mean I'm going to email him today and probably give him a call as well. I'm just really confused about that. But, you know, it's a holiday, so maybe they just uh, don't need as much help. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, hopefully I start tomorrow. That would be nice. Uh, but because it's a holiday and, and everybody's home, nobody has work and Noah doesn't have school, um, we're going to be working in the garden. So we're going to... We have a garden that we do every year. I'll show you guys here. We have a pool as well, so if you take the pool, uh, you see the pool, um, we're gonna take these stairs here and put them in the pool. That's something to get done today. As well, we have the garden, which is right there. We need to plant a bunch of, we usually have cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, we have some peppers, and kind of a bunch of other things, squash and stuff that we plant and we have for ourselves. So, um, it's pretty nice. We just need to do the work and get it, get it started today. So yeah, maybe I'll video us doing some of that. Um, you can see our family working. Uh, otherwise, today's going to be a pretty uneventful day. And sometimes those days are really nice. So yeah. So I'm here at Noah's drum lesson. I had to drop him off. And it's only a half hour, so I was just waiting around. Went to Dunkin', got an iced tea. Checked my work hours. It turns out I don't start to work till Friday. But I gotta go in for training, so I'll probably go in tomorrow for training. Like, actually at the um, place I work. Like, training for, you know, what goes on at the store. And then, um, after that, uh, I start work Friday. I work Friday, Saturday, and then, like, Thursday. But it's like a 22-hour week. For the next, that's the next two weeks. It shouldn't change much, I don't think. So that's actually a pretty nice schedule. Because I can only get up to... I, can, I have to have less than 30 hours. So 22 hours for that job ain't bad. If I get another one, I'm like open for most of the week. Because they're not spread out. So it's pretty sweet. Um, otherwise, when, we get, when I get home today, I might go swimming. Because our pool's open. Um, I think I have a waterproof sleeve for a phone or an iPod, so I might be able to take this in the water. We'll see if it's actually waterproof though. I'm going to test that first before putting anything in it. Um, anything else? Uh, oh yeah, I was thinking since I'm not doing a ton today, well either, there's, there's two thoughts going on. Me and my little brother are planning on getting season passes to Dorney Park for the summer, which would be sick. They're like 120 bucks a piece, which like isn't cheap. But if you go three times, three times, you pay off, yeah, I think it's three, you pay off the entire thing. Plus parking, you're making money. You're like, you're saving money, I mean. Um, so it's like parking's, I don't know, 10 bucks every time. So we'll only have to park the first time we go, buy season passes, and then no parking payments. It's usually 40 bucks every time you go, which is ridiculous. And then... So if we go three or four times, we got it paid off. And if I work Friday, Saturdays, and Thursdays, we have the whole week, once my little brother gets out of school, to go to Dorney Park whenever the heck we want. So that's a possibility. We might go there today um, once he's done here. Uh, right now it's like 4.20. So we'd get there a little before 6 if we sped up. Which wouldn't leave us that much time, but if we got season passes, what would it matter anyway? We're going for a few hours, hit the water park a little bit, ride all the rides, um, and then it won't be as hot either, because it'll be later in the day, and considering it's Memorial Day, um, there probably won't be many people there, I mean, it could be the opposite, it could be packed, but I have a feeling people will be at home and stuff for Memorial Day, so, um, yeah, if, if the Park doesn't work out, my thought is, I'll take you guys outside at home and show you around my backyard, there's pretty sweet woods where you can walk into a path. Um, if that doesn't happen today, I'll do that tomorrow, probably, because I don't have time going on tomorrow either. So, uh, yeah, it all depends. 
this. This is my backyard. I'm heading towards the woods right now. We look this way. See, this is the low area where my dad feeds the deer. We get deer in here all the time. That's where he feeds them. This is our garden that we just worked on today. We got spring hula going. It's set to go with a bunch of tomatoes, squash, and zucchini and cucumbers. So, and there's our house. Back here, you see the deck. You can see the pool right there. We'll be going in that pretty soon. My dad and mom already went in. So that was super nice. So, back here, we have a path that leads back a pretty good distance into the woods where my dad and I as well as Noah hunt I leave a tree stand um, we have actually a couple of tree stands one that I usually sit in one that my dad usually sits in um, and part way up I'll show you there was a prop um, that my, my church used for the, some kind of play it's like a little house a little mini house like cut out um, so it only has one wall where the door is and then you have um, the other wall, or it has three walls, sorry. One where the door is and two on the side, and then one's cut out. Here it is. Painted it up, a little camo looking. Covered it for a shooting house. Called it the hunting house or something like that. So, you open it up. I think I just pushed the chair out of the way. We don't have anything laying in here. This chair all messed up. And there's where you shoot. You sit in the chair, look out there, you come right there, right by the creek. There's a creek right there where all those plants are. On the other side is where deer would come. So I'll show it to you from the other side. So there's a hunting house. So as you can see, if you're if you're in there, it's really hard for the deer to even notice it's there, which is kind of nice. Um, come here. If you didn't know, deer are colorblind, so the colors don't bother them so much. Um, they only see certain colors, so that's why, you know, there's a little bit of red, they won't even notice really, and the differences in colors aren't drastic enough to catch their eye. Um, so yeah, here's a little creek that runs through our backyard. It's pretty plush with a bunch of, uh, it's got a bunch of nice plants right now, so pretty sweet, a bunch of elephant ears. There's a feeder that we'll use to uh, feed the deer when the time comes. Alright, we're back out on the path. Um, to the right. This is the same direction we were going in on the same path before we went to the house. There aren't really many other paths other than this one, so it's not like you can get lost very easily. As long as you just keep following it. I definitely just ran into a spider web. So if you saw, so if I, I'm probably gonna show the video right before that, and it's all wobbly, I went 360. So I ran into a spider web. Um, wow, this is nuts. Okay, here, if you look down here, there's like a little path that deer will follow, but we really don't go down. And here, this massive craziness. Wow, this is crazy. All these elephant ears have grown up. So, so some trees fell. And this is where we go to hunt. I can't go in here because I don't want to kill all these plants and it'd just be a pain to get out. If you look closely, you know, let's see if I can zoom in here. Boom, there's my tree stand. And to the left of it, let's see if I can see it. Okay, I found where it is right here this v-shaped tree right here it's where my dad hunts from so i'll sit in the the first one i showed you he'll sit there so that i'm looking down straight down right here this is where um i'll shoot and he's like there looking down that way away from us so it's a pretty safe setup first deer i shot i wish i could show you how it happened but that's what, that was my plan. I didn't realize it would be this grown up. This is crazy. It's kind of cool. Well, that's mostly what we got in terms of the path. Um, you go down this way, I might be able to show you guys some, some other areas. I might be able to get towards where we shoot the deer. Here's an old tree stand of my dad's. Actually, hold on a second.
Yeah, I'm gonna say this is an old climber of my dad's. When you use a climbing stand like this, you get your feet on it, and you kind of like put your hands on the handles here, these handles, and you like so like move it up, jerk it up, and then move your feet. Uh, you strap your feet in. Do the same with your feet. You gotta kind of jerk it up so that the loops around the tree move, and the weight holds it up. You have no worry about falling. It digs into the tree, and then when you're done, you just climb on down. It's a really nice portable system for a tree stand. Um, my dad's had a few of them in the past, and he likes them. So yeah, as you can see, the path pretty much ends here. You go down there, it's like really wooded. It's kind of a pain in the butt to move around, so I don't feel like going down there. Uh, but yeah, that's about all we got for the path. So after we get back to the house, I'll show you guys the rest of my yard. There's a little garden block that my mom plants flowers in all the time. Going around it is mint. My mom uses it to make mint tea. flowers that she likes to plant every year. There's a shed, for a lawnmower in there and stuff. And a bunch of tools, what not. Here's wood. We have a wood burning stove inside. Or wood burning fireplace I should say. So it's natural wood so we cut it down. The dad cuts down trees all throughout the woods. He's got some that he cut down around there. A couple dead ones that he's cut over there. So and if you see that that little swing set that's like broken out right where my finger is. That's where we keep, we kept like excess wood. So like when it gets into the fall, we'll cut down trees, put it in there and then cover it with a tarp um, and keep it there while we don't, we don't need it uh, because we can't fit it all here once we get this full. Believe it or not, this will get you through like maybe a week's worth of, of winter. So with that in mind, you need more than just this thing full to get you through winter. So. Yeah, we like having the wood fireplace. You can see you do some good work and it's really nice. You know, it keeps things really warm downstairs. So yeah, this is the front yard. We got a basketball hoop. American flag on the back, of course. In front of the house. We have our carport here. Keep the cars under. No escape there sometimes. Another garden in the front. And another garden on the side. We have a lot of gardens. One in the front. But they're more like decorative, you know, with plants that we don't really grow fruits or veggies around. Um, so yeah guys, other than that, that's about all we got for the art.